because they're brainwashed by mass media. The next story, I want to talk about the the GoFundMe wall. This is a little. Hold on, let me fix my hair a little. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to look too ratchet for the for the camera. What's that? It's like a Jerry curl. All right. <laughs> the next story is about the uh, the GoFundMe wall. So. Today, I think they're voting on it in the Senate. I don't know what's going on. To be honest, I don't. Let me know when it's done. Oh, it's a nuclear deal. We're filibustering. Oh, we're going on government shutdown. It's I don't I don't do politics. I know people think I, I love politics. I really don't. It's like, tell me when the wall's built. Tell me when it's funded. Don't tell me when they're doing nuclear option and Rand Paul's filibustering, crying for 12 hours. Although I like Rand Paul. I'm just saying, it's like, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, the House voted. Now the Senate's going to block it. Yeah, it's a bunch of BS. Um, but, um, you know, they haven't built the wall yet. They haven't secured the funding. So people made a GoFundMe. I think a disabled veteran, I, th I think he might have been an amputee. I don't, I'm not sure. But anyway, a veteran of our country made, made a GoFundMe for, to build the wall. And I don't know how much money it's raised now. You guys could tell me in the comment section. Maybe like $10 million plus. Uh, my friends, everyone's sending it to me. I think my one friend, uh, he already donated $90. I'm personally, I'm donating $0 to each their own though. I think it's funny, inspiring that we can do stuff that the government can't pull off. But here's my multiple reasons for not uh, for not donating to the GoFundMe wall. First of all, our, uh, our federal government, the Pentagon, whatever you want to call it, Every couple of years, uh, I don't want to exaggerate, maybe not every couple of years, but at least during the Obama and Bush administration, definitely during the Obama administration, I don't know about the Bush, I'm pretty sure though, they do these audits or they, or, uh, maybe it's not an audit, sorry, I'm just trying to be as correct as possible because I'm not trying to get in any sort of legal trouble, although I don't think anyone cares. They can't find trillions of dollars when they're like oh we can't account for trillions of dollars we, we don't know where it is so it's like they're losing or mismanaging or stealing trillions of dollars all the time like trillions of dollars you have nasa has like a multi-billion dollar budget and i'm not you know even really quite sure what they're doing besides telling you that the ice is actually not melting, the ice is gaining, even NASA admits that on the website, but they still push climate change. Anyway, there's enough money to go around on my taxpayer dollars. Personally, I, I don't wanna fund the GoFundMe wall. I'm being a little Sour Patch Kid and being like, you already took a bunch of money from everybody in my family, so why can't you build the wall with that money? Also, I'm a little bit upset this week that we sent $10 billion to Central and Me Central America and Mexico for aid. I mean, how backwards is a country? Trump, no Trump, whatever. We want to build a wall to protect our borders for five billion dollars. They say that that's too much money and we can't afford that. And then they just send ten billion dollars to Central America and Mexico. We've been sending aid to other countries for decades. Like, why? I don't understand that. How does a country that's trillions of dollars in debt send billions of dollars to other countries? And someone said to me, Anomaly, why don't you say that when they send Israel money? I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Israel, Mexico, uh, Central America. I mean, Iran, certainly. Uh, I don't know. Who else do we send money to? At least with Saudi Arabia. I'm not saying it's great because they're not really using our weapons properly, but at least we made a sale there. And like I said, I'm not justifying what they're doing with those weapons, but at least that's a sale. Like with these other deals, I don't understand why we're giving money to other countries. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. Um, we have millions of people in poverty here. We have millions of people struggling from the individual mandate and the failed socialist communist uh, Obamacare. We have millions of homeless people. I mean, we have hundreds of thousands in major cities that are just living on the streets. There's trash everywhere. How in the world could we give $10 billion to Central America and Mexico? No disrespect to Central America and Mexico. I would say the same thing if they gave money to us. Same with like Israel. If Israel gave money to us or Saudi Arabia gave money to us, I'd be like, why are you just handing us money? Like, it, I don't, I will never understand why we do that. So that was a little annoying to me. It's like, why, why do I have to pay for the wall on GoFundMe? When we just sent two times the amount of the wall to, to Central, and, uh, Me Central America and Mexico. And then what really ticked me off, I, I wanted to be happy because this week uh, we passed, you know, will they further move the criminal justice reform, which has been 
something I've been passionate about since I was in my teens, but I can't even be happy about the criminal justice reform bill, the bipartisan bill, because in the same week that they pass a criminal justice reform bill, they ban bump stocks, and then they, not only do they ban bump stocks, ban the purchase of it, but there, there's this weird message. They said, if you own bump stocks, you have to hand them into the government. Like, this is some sort of Hitler, Hitler-esque, like, we're collecting all your bump stocks. Like, I, I don't like that. I'm sorry. I don't own a bump stock. I, to be honest, I didn't even know what a bump stock was until the Las Vegas shooting, but I don't like the fact that they're coming around and collecting them. That's a bad vibe. Um, so... The reason that it bothers me so much is, okay, we send $10, $10 billion to Central and South, Central America and Mexico. They ban bump stocks, and they say they're collecting all bump stocks from all gun owners, and then they do a prison justice reform bill. It's like, I'm so sick and tired, and I know a lot of people here are. You get treated better if you're a criminal or an illegal immigrant sometimes than if you're an American citizen. Like, I, that's great. I'm, I'm super happy about the criminal justice reform bill but you're gonna let tens of thousands of people out of prison, that's fine. I really hope you're choosing people that don't deserve to be there because I know that there's hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people behind bars that don't deserve to be there or should have their sentences cut. I'm all for that, you know? But if you're gonna take away people's, you know, Second Amendment rights, roughly, in the same week that you're doing that, and then you're handing our money over to other countries, it's like, at what point do, do we start valuing citizens? I don't care if it's Trump there or not. I know Trump's trying to do his best, but the whole reason, someone said I can make a bump stock with a nail and a two by four. That's, that's good to know. But uh, I, I, it's just more the president. Like I said, I don't own or even know what a bump stock is before this. But the reason that they're taking bump stocks away is because of the Las Vegas shooting. We don't even know why the Las Vegas shooting happened. First of all, it's a great opportunity to talk about that. It was incredibly sketchy. They said a 60-year-old guy knocked out two windows like literally like half a mile apart not that i'm exaggerating it's probably like 100 200 feet apart knocked out two windows used two guns with two bump stocks and just laid a hundred guns on the floor and then killed himself like doesn't sound likely to me i personally either he was selling guns it was some sort of failed arms deal either it was a joint operation and pe people that i know that live in las vegas say that uh there were shooters on the floor as well and everyone knows that and I'm not I'm not trying to start a conspiracy theory or whatever. I wasn't there. I'm saying that's what people say that are in Las Vegas. But we don't even know why it happened. Nothing about it makes sense. And they're using that thing that they never even solved for us to use as a justification to take the bump stock. And uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not saying we need those. But at this point, after watching the last two, three years, I've to be honest, even when I was left leaning, I've always been pro Second Amendment, not for hunting not for uh, people killing each other, obviously, to stop a tyrannical government. I've always felt that way. You know, I, I'm not a huge gun fanatic myself, but self-protection is important, especially when, you know, they're getting super soft on their laws. They're letting criminals and stuff just like run rampant. And I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to act like a certain person, but they literally have laws that protect criminals from other countries that aren't even citizens here. So it's like, yeah, you might want to protect yourself since the government's not doing it, but also... A tyrannical government taking over, oh, that could never happen. Anomaly, well, Hitler and Stalin were less than 100 years ago, uh, and they never talk about Stalin. They talk about how bad Putin is. I'm convinced it's because Putin's not Stalin. It's like they hate on Putin more than they hate on Stalin, but and Putin's far from that. But anyway, I don't want to give up another inch on the Second Amendment. I'm sorry, I don't. So I don't like the fact that they banned that. We gave $10 billion, and then we have to raise our own money uh, for a GoFundMe while just doesn't make sense to me and we know with this gun control stuff whether it's parkland or um or the las vegas shooting both of which are very very sketchy multiple dropped balls by a lot of people um they're not just gonna stop at bump stocks like they don't they don't want bumps i went i know this because i went to these marches and i talked to these people and i read their signs and i had conversations with dozens of people Great people definitely couldn't harm a fly. That and everyone's like, oh, the anomaly. Be careful, be careful of what? There's ten thousand people. I think I could probably, you know, if needed be, if they all came at me, I'd probably win. I'm not. I'm, that's a joke. But I'm just saying these aren't the, the most uh, adept people at fighting. But anyway, 
they don't want just a bump stock. They want no guns whatsoever. They want all of your guns. They would definitely do. Uh, I know this because I spoke to them. I'm not trying to hype it up or make people scared, but it's like I see where they're going. So this bump stock was just one more notch down the down the peg, and I I don't I don't like that we did that, uh, and I don't like that we sent ten billion dollars over. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'm not paying for the wall. Uh, you can. I don't even know. I not to be negative but i don't even know if the money's going to go there gofundme is going to take a huge chunk of that money uh just to name a few and on a more positive note i really like the farm bill i gotta look more into it but trump uh, apparently legalized cbd and industrial hemp on a, on a main scale it was kind of floating i think on the laws but for a long time they've scheduled i, I don't know about cbd but i'm pretty sure just like thc they've scheduled it like it was heroin and crack cocaine when CBD is so mainstream now, I know people who never were always like marijuana is bad and now they're like rubbing CBD oil on themselves. So it's like CBD is a very, very, in a, in a good way, powerful drug. It could stop kids seizures. It could stop pain. Like CBD is the real deal. The fact that they had that scheduled like it was heroin just shows you who the Food and Drug Administration really is and uh, how much they really cared about our health with the food pyramid and baby baby powder they're like rub this on your babies even though it has asbestos on it i mean these people should be should be tried and never mind i don't want to say too much but you know the the hemp bill very good stuff not only does it help farmers i, I think uh that's that's a revolutionary bill that, that gets a lot of people thinking like you know there's a lot of uh there's a lot of stoners and also <laughs> a lot of uh organic people who really like uh organic food and organic lifestyle everyone knows how powerful hemp is not only that just you can make ropes you can make material with it really good stuff um i like that so overall like i said even with my two complaints about the the bump stock thing and the 10 billion dollars being sent to other countries it's like trump in a week gets more accomplished than other politicians did in eight years like he's a highly ambitious guy he tweets at 4 a.m. He gets the ball rolling and they hate that because they weren't doing anything for like 18 years. And now they're opposing stuff that they, you know, passed themselves and that they supported like four years ago. It's it's absolutely insane. But uh, it's been another great week. I, I really hope this guy runs again. Uh, I really appreciate what he did in Syria as well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that cast. Uh, let me know what you think about the GoFundMe build a wall. I think it's funny definitely gets the ball rolling a little bit but i don't know i just i just can't justify giving any money towards a wall when they sent two times that amount to other countries they send 50 times that amount to other countries and they constantly lose 2000 times that amount and say oh we don't know where the money went i'm not buying it but that's my thoughts thank you guys appreciate you joining I guess I'll stay, I can stay around for five, 10 minutes if you guys have any questions or I can maybe answer a few questions. Thank you guys. I'll, I'll pin this to the top real quick too while I'm here. Just if you guys wanna support the cast, I appreciate that. Everybody, uh, my free email list is 100% free. Please sign up to that. Uh, donor box, I appreciate that. 